The Southeast Governors Forum has defended the rehabilitation of the runway at Akano Ibiam International Airport as a project undertaken in the best interest of the people. It says any conspiracy theory attempting to suggest ulterior motives should be disregarded. Bamedele Ajayi reports. We cut the tape to commission and open for operations the Akano Ibiam International Airport in Ugu. On the 30th of August, the much-awaited Akano Ibiam International Airport runway was inaugurated by the Nigeria's Minister of Aviation, Adi Sirika, coming 374 days after it was shut down. I like to thank His Excellency President Muhammadu Buhari for keeping faith with this project and the government for their support and my colleagues in the Federal Executive Council, of course the National Assembly. But the project came under serious criticism and insinuation that the delay in its completion, in spite of the outbreak of the COVID-19, was part of a plan to deprive the Easterners of a functional international airport. Many even took to social media to accuse both the government and prominent Igbo leaders for participating in an exercise that was described as a charade. Suffice to note that Igbo leaders, even in the aviation sector, Press the government for owning up to upgrade the airport to international status. We have been at pains in this part of the country. I never believed this was possible. It has not been my wish that we have an airport that uh, meets the best possible international standard. And as this airport is today, I can assure you that this airport meets the best possible international standard. Who we'll changed the life of people and gave us the best tarmac anywhere in Africa? One of the best in Europe. Only who did it? Nobody else did it. But at this event, the Southeast Governors Forum described the attack as a mission set out to misinform the public on efforts that were genuinely put forward by the government to uplift Akanibiam Airport to an international standard. So people have tended to misrepresent the Honorable Minister. It is not saying that the terminal building was going to be delivered. Neither did he say that the international wing of the airport would be delivered. I, I think it's important that we put things in the right context. The body restates the commitment in ensuring that the long desired dream of an international airport in the southeast that will serve as a real gateway to the rest of the world with full certification from ICAO is achieved. Bamdila Jai, TVC News, MNA Enugu.